It's another Monday here with Teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. And this time, we're going to talk about how to do our data analysis right after gathering the data. And we'll start with the demographic profiling. So if this is your raw data and you are going to analyze your data, of course, you need the information on your demographic. Once we say demographic, uh, those are referring to the respondents' background, let's say the age, um, the gender or the sex, and then we also have the grade level, if you have. But for this particular raw data, we have our uh, grade level for this one. So we have our age here, and we are going to start with a profiling for that particular age. So I'll be going to another sh another sheet. So for this one, I'm making here an APA table. This is now ready in you for your reporting later on on the data analysis part. So right here we have the profile of the respondents. You can actually have all the demographic profile here and uh, like the age and then the sex if you want to have more on that one. You can simply add rows on it. So for this one, since we only have an age on that raw data, so I'll be now teaching you how to do the frequency, how to do the percent of your profile of that respondent in terms of age. So we'll start with the age here. So this time under frequency, we can just simply uh, do our count if. So on, on your cell here, you can just simply type equal symbol, and then you can type on the count. And you would see some options here. You will not be clicking on the count here because what will it be doing is only counting the number of cells in range that contain numbers. So any numbers would do for that one. You can have uh, all, actually all the data that you're highlighting there, it will be counted. So that's count. Now if you wanted only to count those that are under age 15, you will, own, you will be using the count if here. So try to double click that one. And on the count if, you would see the parameter there in which you've got there the range. So you will be clicking on the range. So this time on our raw data, it's on another sheet. So we'll be clicking that particular sheet. So we click on the data or the data. And then you are going to highlight from the response of the respondent one up to the last response here you will be highlighting that one under the age you have to be careful on not highlighting anything else there because what we're counting only will be on this particular column which is the age from here i can just simply do my 15 and then that will be counting off 15 as the age there so we have 15, we've got 1, which is of age 15. So upon checking the data, if you wanted to check the, da the, the data there, if, you, if it is correct, then you go ahead and check that 1. You can just count the number of 15 in there. So this one, we only have 1, 15. So that means to say that that one is reliable. So let's go and finish this one. So out from here, we can actually copy that one later on. But if you try to just simply copy this one and then paste it on the next line, what you will be doing is just simply copying the value of the previous one, which you copy, because this one and that one are not changing. You're not actually changing anything there. Because notice that what's changing there is only the C3 here. So... If you go back, the one changing here, the C3 and the 106. So we need to say it's now moving down. So to try to freeze it, we are going to add a dollar symbol. So on every cell that we're trying to mention here. So input a dollar symbol before that one. And also in between the letter and the number there. And then before this one as well. 
and then also with in between the letter and the number and enter so so let's try to draw this down and then it's not changing again okay i know now what went wrong here what went wrong here is that we did not change our criteria so take note our criteria is very important and we neglected that one so you have to be careful on what you are doing so this time we are going to change our criteria so we have here for this column i mean row we have that one as 16 enter and there you go we've got that one as 58 meaning to say there are 58 respondents that are of age 16. next we go for changing this criteria to 17 and then enter that will be uh age 17 we have 40 respondents on that one now take note this must total to 104 our number of respondents is 104 so everything here must sum up to 104 so later on we'll check on that one this time we're going to have our 18 so we have four out of the respondents and then we have 19 we have one out of our respondents so let's try to check whether this is correct so let's try to do the sum so the sum function here this is for us to add up all the values you may select that one of the those values that you are adding up or you wanted to get the sum with checking on that one yes perfect we've got 104 that's the total sample on our list that's the number of respondents on our data so here we are trying to fix our table because this is uh we've deleted our formatting there because we've tried to drag that down so let's try to fix it so there you go we've got now our frequency on that table next one is we are going to do the percent here take note once you're doing the profiling of your respondents or the demographic of your respondents you have to have the frequency and then the percent so that we can visualize as to how many percent or what will be the percent of this particular age group with respect to the total sample. So let's start. This is how you are going to do the percent here. What we will be expecting on the table will be in terms of percent already. We do not do the percent symbol here because we already have that one on the header. So let's try to do. We wanted to round it off to two decimal places. So this is what we are going to do. You try to click round because we don't know whether it's rounding down or up. So we are going to click on the round. And then we have number. The number here, here refers to the number that we wanted to round off. The one that we wanted to round off is the percent value of the age 15 so what we are going to do is we will have here our one the frequency we divide that one with the total number which is 104 and then we multiply that one with 100 and then comma the number of digits we have that one as two digits and then close and enter so there you go that will be our percent equivalent on age 15 so it only holds 0.96% or 9600 percent on our age 15 so let's now move to the next one so for this one if you wanted to copy this one the entire thing uh, we can just simply drag it down let's try to check this one is now checking on this one here the 58 and then we're dividing that one with 104 and multiply that to 100 and then round it off to two decimal places we can just simply drag it down oopsie again we can simply drag it down so there you go 
And then we are going to fix that one again. And let's try to check whether that would somehow sum up to 100%. So let's try to drag down and then close that and enter. So there you go. That's 100%. So that means to say that we are doing good on our profiling on our demographic. So this is again your teacher Jenny. I hope that you learned something. And by the way, this is already the table that you are going to present under the data analysis for your demographic profile of the respondents.